etc., right? Give us one scientific miracle in the Quran. You don't mind. Scientific. There is no scientific. You know? It's what we call Iman. Once you got your Iman, that's what the Muslim says. That's what the Quran says. It's all about Iman. You know? Then they, if we all had evidence, we all would know what to believe. We, we all know what, 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 is the Jews the right religion? So, you just said that the Quran don't have science and the Muslims are a big fat liars when they say there are scientific miracles in the Quran. Do you agree? That the claim of Muslims, that there are scientific miracles, it's a big fat lie, you might. Let me just, let me just say one thing quick to these people. I just want to say something to these people. I just want to say I'm not offended at all. You know, everyone's got their own opinion, you know. This is part of the end this is part of we all... You are very smart. He just discovered that in the end of the day, this is Balto. We are asking you a question, man. Nobody is offending you in here. Do the Quran have scientific miracles or no? Either you say yes or you say no. You are mine. If I say yes, you're going to ask me for evidence. Are you going to say, give me evidence, give me a proof, you know? But it... So you want to say yes without the proofs? Either you say yes or you say no. If no, it's mean the Quran doesn't have anything, it's mean the Muslims are big fat liars. If yes, how you know? Show us. All what we are asking you for is to share with us the knowledge. Show us the scientific miracles, you mind. Uh, let's, let's, you keep talking about Islam, Islam. Let's just put Islam on the side, you know. I'm not talking about Christianity, I'm not saying anything rude to your, you know, to your religion. You just be having a little simple conversation, you know. Why do you have to keep... No problem. Ask me a question about my religion. You don't mind. You see how nice I am? You don't mind. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're a very kind person, you know. <laughs> and who's Jesus anyway? I want to know, what do you believe as Jesus in what? As in... Okay, let me answer you. According to the Quran, Jesus is the creator. Somebody please count the text with me. Jesus, according to who? To the Quran. He is the creator. He created it from the mud birds. This is number one. According to the Quran, he is a life. When every human die, including your prophet. According to the Quran, he can raise people from death. According to the Quran, he can make the blind see. According to the Quran, he spoke even when he was one second old. Speaking as a prophet of God, according to your Quran, which means he had the knowledge. He was a master, he was a teacher, even when he was born. According to your Quran, he is going to be the judge in the judgment day. And this is mean he is God. Because guys, who is the one who can judge people by absolute justice except God? So, Jesus the judge, even in your religion. And your prophet will stand in the front of Jesus and Jesus will question him. Hey, Muhammad, come on. What you did, Muhammad? Did you have sex with Aisha? Uh, you know, let me tell you, Jesus, you know, she was very cute. I saw her diaper. It was big, you know. You stupid Muhammad. This was her pupil. How I know? How I know? I'm, I'm 57 years old. My eyes is weak. I thought she is, like, very sexy. So you're a prophet, he will stand in the front of the judge, and that judge will be Jesus Christ. How do you explain that to me, your mind? Um, can I just ask, can I just speak to someone quick? You hold on to your question, okay? I just want to speak to someone. Who is the person? Let me go up quick. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Jade. Jade's asked me, what does the prophet do? Jade. No, no, you talk to me. You talk to me. You talk to me. You ask me a question. I gave you an answer. Did I answer you or not yet? Do you have more questions? You mind? Can I just, can I just another thing, please? Without you putting me on red, okay? Without you putting me on red. Christianity, Islam is all the same thing. The only thing that we don't we disagree is because you guys believe Jesus is the Son of God, and we don't. That's the only. No, it's not the same thing. As an example, your penis in the heaven of Allah will be endless. 
this is the proof to us that cannot be the same. Can you tell us, can you tell the room why Allah will make your penis endless? Like imagine you live in New York, but your penis in China. Uh, by the way, I have, uh, I, 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 you know, uh, like when you get that penis, you know, a Chinese company, they might be interested to, to use your penis as a, uh, as a oil pipe, you know, if you're interested. But this is a different topic anyway. Why Allah will make your penis endless, your mind? that one you know that's a good joke you know are we having a joke or are we having a little joke absolutely not challenge me i will show you the reference and the proofs challenge me your mind say i challenge you go ahead Mike is yours. You don't want to challenge me? No? Matt, are you there? Oh, he is challenging me in the text? Oh, okay. I, I thought you want to come to the mic and say, like, you know, because I can give you advantage of, uh, like, a freedom to say, you know what, you are a liar. Like, you know, this will make it more interesting. Like, you're a big fat liar. This is not a true, this is a lie, and you are making up stories. You know, I, I have no problem if you want to say that, because I want you really to take things out of your, uh, uh, your chest. Uh, let us go to the Quran, and uh, sorry, to the, to the Hadith, and see what your Prophet he said about your penis will be endless. Um, here we go. Here we go. This is your official government website of Saudi Arabia. And this is the Imam Al Qurtubi book, the name of the book, Tahfat Al Habib Al Ashraf Al Khatib. In this page, you will see the following many things. Number one, number one, in the heaven of Allah, you will be able to have sex with every woman except two, which is your mother and your daughter, which means you can have sex with your sister. You can have sex with your grandmother, you can have sex with your niece, you can have sex with your uh, uh, aunt, anyone in the family, except your daughter and your mother. Secondly, it says, asking Allah even to protect your penis. Yeah, explain to us why Allah will make your penis endless. What's wrong with you? And you know, you can put an insurance in your penis. You can do whatever you want. This is, you know, this is your penis and you have the right to protect it. And actually, you can register it in the United Nations. So they can give your penis a blue hat. Because as you see, you will be international. You will be in New York, your penis in China. This means your penis will go inside many countries. You need a blue hat. Do you have any comment to say, Mr. Mad Player, your mic? Just to let you know, just to let you know, I'm a black person, you know. I've got a nice one, and I've got a King Kong size dick, you know. That's a good joke. That's the joke about it. You know, but are, we, are we having jokes or are we having a little conversation? Because I'm confused. If you want to have a joke, I can... You know, guys, he's a black, he's a black guy, uh, uh, like uh, king size. Well, thanks you, thank you for the information, and 